Hi Avery, this is a review of your channel lesson from June 23rd, 2023. Let's get right into it. Let's do some warm ups together. Um, we'll go ahead and just do a normal scale starting on low G, keeping those hands relaxed. Remember, um, remember how I talked about in a lesson, maybe every once in a while, I can't remember, I said every fifth something, maybe take your thumb off. Don't do it in the middle of a scale, but maybe this scale, keep your fingers on or your, your right thumb on and maybe the next scale you don't. Um, try that. Ready? Regular scale. One, two. Uh... All right. I should have said we go up and then go down. All right. G grease note scale. Ready? Going up and down. Starting on low G. One, two. Uh... Had anything that was confusing in there, uh, maybe on the top hand, right? Or maybe there was a crossing sound or something. Just go ahead and stop the video and fix it. All right, let's move on. What we're going to do is go through the entire T of page 76. Now, some of these doublings you actually haven't done before, and some of these you have. So I'm just going to go through them and I'll announce them, and you can take a look at the page or the part of the page. Um, where they show up. So again, you should have this page ready. Page 76, right? The top one, you've already done. The high A doubling. Um, chili. Um, chili. Remember that? Starting on low G or low A. Ready? One, two. Let's do the double high G right below it. Ready? Get in the low A position. One, two. All right. Take a look at the double F. Here's the double F. It's just a G grace note on F. G grace note on F. It's like this. Right? So if we're on the way, it's. Let's do the whole scale. Ready? One, two. you take a look at that one on your own to figure out the top hand okay we're going to do the double e the double e is a g grace note on e followed by an f grace note on e it looks like this all right try that now let's go ahead and try it from low a or the whole scale from low a one two That one might be tricky if it's new. Um, I can't remember if we've gone over this one, but um, go ahead and take a break from the video and take a look at it. Try it on your own. Next is double D or the D doubling, right? So starting on the way, it's a G grace note on D and then it's an E grace note on D. So that would look like if we're already on D. Okay, let's try that in a scale. Ready? Starting on the way. One, two. If that one was tricky, pause the video, take a look at it in the music, and just think to yourself, I'm on D, I'm doing G grace note on D, E grace note on D. All right, very good. You go to the next page, and we have the double C, all right, or C doubling. This is one that we already have gone over. It shows up at the um, end of bar four in Cork Hill, right? 
Okay, so let's start from low A. C dot line. One, two. Definitely practice that one on your own. I'd like you to take your thumb off on that one. Um, the next several on here on page 77, we haven't really even talked about. We're going to not look at them today. We're going to jump ahead to page 78. Okay, 78, the very top, has the burls, the burl scale. There it is, right? This is the one we start on high A. And if I'm remembering correctly, your burl was sort of a tap pull if I'm not mistaken, I think. It was the one that you liked the best. And so just try some right now, right? All right? Try those on your own. Nice, solid, low, uh, low A. The key to a good burl, in addition to that part being clear, is the first low A that you land on from whatever note you're coming from. So if we're starting on a high A, we want that first low A to be nice and clear. Right? So let's just try one of those from high A. Ready? One, two. Okay, if yours isn't that fast, that's okay. The part that should be the same, though, is the high A and the first low A before the burl starts. That can be the same. That can be on my beat. One, two. Right? And then the burl comes after. Again, one, two. And then you just do the burl after that. Ready? One, two. One, two. You can do the burl on the next beat, right? One, two. That's a really good way to do it. So let's do the whole scale like that on that same rhythm. So one, Okay, if that was too fast for the, the burl part, I am okay with that. But we want to make sure you're playing that first low way before the burl with me, right? Let's do it one more time, a little slower. One, two. This might be a good time to check that thumb. Make sure you're not squeezing things too tightly, okay? And after that, um, we're going to leave the rest of that page alone. And what I would like to do is get you into Cork Hill. And I have an instructional video that I'm gonna have a link for that has all of the phrases that we um, started to talk about in the lesson broken out. These blue phrases should look familiar, where we're talking about those packets of rhythm, where we play a triplet, where it's one, two, three, take a breath, next note, right? Remember that? So it would be like this. Pause after the triplet, then go to the next note. But I'm going to have you look at the video that covers the entire tune. And what you can do is you can highlight your copy like I've done mine, or I can just give you a copy. All right, have fun.